We begin with a look at when public health orders over COVID could end. Last month, Governor DeWine said for Ohioans to be free of health orders like masks and social distancing, COVID cases must be at an average of 50 cases per 100,000 residents for two weeks. But as Will Uick tells us, there could be a different stat to watch for more normalcy to return. When Ohio gets down to 50 cases per 100,000 people for two weeks, all health orders in the state will come off. It was nearly two months ago when Governor DeWine gave a metric for when he'd be reopening the state in full. But yesterday, he said they're looking at what some other states are using and considering a possible change to use vaccination percentage instead. We're looking at any kind of uh, measures uh, that would tell people kind of where we're going and what what we have to what we have to achieve. So is one better than the other easier to obtain or is there an even better piece of data to let us know where we stand as a state? At the end of the day, I think the most important thing is that COVID isn't causing people to be so sick that they're going to the hospital and dying. Dr. David Morgolius, an infectious disease specialist at Metro Health, says the best barometer for the state's status is hospitalizations and deaths. But the problem is those numbers tend to lag behind. It will take longer for those to start to drop after we know we're, we're doing the right thing. As far as a change from cases to vaccinations, he believes the case rate is a more accurate representation of the state, but says the two are so intertwined, the goalpost wouldn't be moving much. The cases per 100,000 that we're using now, I, I think it's a really good metric, but we could use the vaccination rate too because I think it will time out at the same time. So why would they switch the metric at all? Dr. Magalia says not only does the vaccination number give people an actionable number to shoot for, it's also just easier to understand. Cases per 100,000, we're looking at run charts and, you know, line graphs. It's kind of complicated to think through. It's like, what can I do to get to, to that number? But if we go to the, the total number of first dose vaccines, then we can draw one of those cool, like, fundraiser thermometers and start, you know, checking a couple hundred thousand each week, and it'll feel more tangible, the progress. So if we do decide to switch to a vaccination rate, what would that rate be? Well, the governor did not say, but if you look at the neighboring state of Kentucky, that's what they're using. They're trying to get to 70% of their adult population. Dr. Magalius here at Metro said something like 55% of the entire population. Either way you slice it like that, Russ, it would be about six to six and a half million people vaccinated. Right now we have about 4.5. Okay, Will Uick, thanks for breaking that down for us.